Welcome to Abu Dhabi, welcome to Yas Marina. I'm here with the Porsche GT Club. I didn't even know these guys existed, but essentially it is the distilled Porsche owners club down to GT series cars only. So GT4, GT3, GT2 RS, GT3 RS, etc. Um, and it's phenomenal. It's an evening event. It's running from 8 p.m. until 12 p.m. It's just awesome in the evening. But we've got the full Grand Prix circuit. And I am down here with a 991 GT3 RS lent to me by someone incredibly friendly out here in Dubai, or should I say, over there in Dubai. So today, we're gonna spend four hours on a circuit that for me has been on my bucket list. The Abu Dhabi circuit I've always wanted to visit. I've always wanted to watch the F1 here. And I've always wanted to drive it. And today we're super lucky because we have the full Grand Prix circuit. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's check out some of the fantastic cars that are here. They're predominantly GT3s and GT3 RSs, which I'm incredibly happy about. And then let's hop in and drive the full track. I think it's just over 5K. There's a lot to learn. Let's hit it. Okay, here we go. A bucket list moment. Lap of Yas Marina, the Abu Dhabi Formula One circuit. Unique, immediately. I'm not aware of any other circuit in the world that has a subterranean pit exit. Let me know in the comments if you know of one, because I'd love to see it. It's so cool. And off we go. <laughs> and let me talk you through it as best as I can. I'm really new to the track, so I'm not gonna be setting any lap records. First things first, entry to the circuit, uh, they blend the like apex and the racing line with the pit exit. It's very weird. I would imagine in Formula One it's crazy. Um, yeah, first up, it's a counterclockwise track. Most circuits tend to be clockwise. Oh man, listen to that engine. You ready? You have to almost go 90 degrees, so you're facing back on yourself, keeping in the, in the middle of the track. Just if, if you're wondering right now, I have had a bit of tuition the last few laps to get the lines right. Didn't want to come on here and give you no information. Heavy braking down here. God knows what these guys are doing in Formula One down here, but even in this, it's pretty savage. Tight left, ho hogging the left. The 90 degree turns wide. You should just hit the rev limiter there before getting back on it. Um, and through here, this rise is a slight lift. You actually don't clip the apex here, you run a bit wide. And then there's the second corner, which is the apex, and then braking in a straight line as best as you can. And then really tight right hander up to this cone. Again, this thing revs for days. Chasing this GT3 in front, 997 Gen 1 by the looks of things. We got the pull, he's letting us pass. Cool car though, anchors on here. Yes, the front end on the RS is just savage. And this isn't quite a full lap yet.
yet, but we're coming back to the, the finish straight. Here we are. So we're about to complete one lap. End of the straight. Wow, the braking on this is so fabulous. Let this thing run out. And in a minute, you'll see where the pit exit blurs with the racing line. Right there, on your left there, that is where cars enter from the pits. It's crazy. How there are more accidents there, I don't know. Back on the brakes. Ooh, a little squirmy. the GT3. What? Can't even believe that just happened. Just ended up doing a few laps of Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi. Bucket list moment. And that car, that car is next level. Anyway, um, no disrespect to English tracks at all, but I gotta share with you the catering situation here. Check this out. We got ourselves our own Thai food cup. You can eat this food while listening to the sound of flat sixes and check it out. This guy is. This guy's been serving us all night, dude. Thanks. The food you've been doing tonight has been fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, and it just keeps constantly getting refreshed. Look at this. All of these nibbles. I mean, it's not exactly helping your power to weight ratio, <laughs> particularly with all of this cake. Um, and also got music going on. It's like a sort of restaurant, come rave, come pits. Very, very cool. All right, let's take a look around the pits. There's probably 45 maybe 50 GT cars here. The best thing about it is, everyone goes crazy with the wraps. So there's some really interesting combos here. I mean, this style we've seen quite a lot, but it never really gets old. The whole faded Le Mans car look looks fantastic. You can tell some of these guys are taking the track day seriously because contrary to popular belief, steel brakes, if you're a regular track day user, potentially better than carbon ceramics. Not from a, a sort of fade point of view, but from a replacement point of view. If you're doing regular track days, the last thing you want to be doing is swapping out carbon brakes because very expensive. GT2 RS, this is the only GT2 RS here. So cool to see though. Um, the other thing, there's no noise limits. So as you can hear, every now and again, we'll get some absolute rasper blasting it down the uh, straight here, which I think, correct me if I'm wrong, um, is the longest straight in F1. So there's some serious pace going on here. This one, this GT3 RS might be my favorite wrap in the whole pattern. Something about it. 
it just says race car. Really enjoying it. I tell you what, if you wanted inspiration for what what sort of wrap or livery to put on your, on your Porsche, tonight's the night. What else have we got? I'm going to hunt down some more crazy wraps because there's some, case in point, absolute craziness here. Neon accents, more race weathered cars. I mean, look at this. This thing stands out a mile. And what's pretty unique is the artwork on the wheels. I say artwork because this is so much more than just, just a wrap. We've got like split paint job halfway through the rims. This like split effect. It's very, very cool. GT3 and blazing down the side of the car. What the camera isn't picking up on is just how neon that yellow is. It looks fantastic. Again, another race craft battered and beat wrap effect. And the list goes on and on and on. I mean, we've got all of these guys here. Um, Michelin are also supporting the event. So if you want your, your tire pressures checking and your, your wear checking, make sure it's wearing even. These guys are on hand. Look, Michelin guys, awesome. This is my car for the evening. Uh, the car is practically brand new. It's got 2,000 kilometers on it only. Um, and when, every time I sit in it, it takes me right back to my old car. Even though mine wasn't an RS, um, the interiors are pretty much identical. And when you get in it, it just feels so good. This one is definitely not standard. You can hear by the, the idle. He's had some work done to that exhaust. And that's a fantastic thing. Middle East track days, even in the evening, no sound limit. You just get on it. Phenomenal. But take a look at the piss. I mean, there's probably 20 cars in sight just here. There's currently a, another few cars out on track now. It's endless. Day over, or should I say track evening over. Next thing on the agenda is to, uh, tonight we're staying at the Yaz Marina Hotel, the Viceroy Yaz Marina, which you can just see over there with the multicolored lights all over it. That's the iconic hotel that you see that stands out uh, during the Abu Dhabi Crew Grand Prix when the sun goes down. That's the hotel. Always somewhere I've wanted to go. So let's hop back into Lambo and do this. That is the nature of track days in the Middle East. I'm gonna take this opportunity to sign off. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.